All right. It's uh, it's the 13th of February. I'm just doing a little bit of a vlog video, to actually letting you know what's happening in real time. Uh, thinking that it's like 13th of February, I'm thinking, fucking hell, like, I'm not getting anywhere, am I? I'm really not getting anywhere. Uh, I need to like obviously crack on because I need to get them Pete pump blokes in before they decide that they want to charge me even more money. <laughs> uh, Right, so this, the, the window situation, uh, it's come to, we're, we're resolving it now, but it's kind of like, it did unsettle me. Uh, I don't know whether anyone else is like that. Obviously I was, I was cracking on, ready to just like pump it out. And because it started to go wrong, it kind of like took the wind out of my sails and then I just didn't really want to do anything after that. Uh, the, the, the I was going to test the drains as well and the tester that I've got it it wouldn't work so I've had to buy another couple of bits so like just when things start going wrong you just think oh fucking bollocks so like last week I didn't do anything uh Arthur's hurt his back uh we don't know whether he's got a ruptured disc or a slip disc but he he was in a lot of pain a lot of pain uh we're going to the vets for the third time now uh we're trying to obviously figure out what to do because they might want to do an mri scan which means uh that he don't have to go under general anesthetic which he doesn't deal well with when they obviously bring him back around his trachea collapses so last time he ended up in um, intensive care that was, that's when he had an operation on his eye um so yeah i've just been looking after him basically um he can't move, he's like in bed. I sleep on the floor next to him and stuff. Um, <clears throat> right, windows situation. I've, the glass is in the French doors. I've done them like a week or so ago. Uh, so around the bottom, this bit here, I had to put more silicon. So I had to get this stuff, Silarub 2, because it doesn't react to the butyl on the actual, um, you know, around the edge, wherever it is. Uh, so yeah, I had to do that. I've got the glass in. I mean, I'm not 100% happy with the glass because these spacer bars, I don't know whether you can see it, they're not like bang on level. I'd say that one, that's probably a, you can't even see it, you know. Like the one at the back is two mil lower there and it's three mil lower here. Yeah, I mean the the actual bars that I stick on the outside. I think they're six mil bigger, so that that will cover it. But yeah, I mean whoever's just stuck them back to back spacer bars in, they haven't really done a great job. But I'm just gonna let it go. I've had enough now. Uh, this handle when they've put it on, that that just come off on my hand the other day. Um, so there's a circlet that needs to go in there, in the back there. And then obviously you've got your grub screw and then you go onto that. But the grub screw, it goes onto that bit there. So it doesn't grab it properly. It looks like someone has tried to like get this cover plate off because there's little dents in the aluminium there. I tried to get it off as well. I can't get it off. Well, I haven't succeeded so far, but I was using plastic packers and just sliding them down here to just slide it out. <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I think that I've already looked up. They're 50 quid. These. I might be able to release that grub screw and then move that bar across. I don't know. But yeah, this cover plate, hopefully they haven't stuck it on with silicon or something. And that's the reason why I can't get it off. But I'm going to email the actual manufacturer of these and see if they can give me any advice. If not, I'll just fucking cut it off and buy another one. They're like 50 quid. Right, so the windows, uh, obviously you know I've got window 5 in. Window 2 I got halfway in and I got pissed off and left it. And window 1 I got in, even though it wasn't right because the handle was hitting. Um, so I was speaking to the company. Uh, trying to obviously sort out what to do about it. Uh, 
the first thing that when he, when the governor obviously had a, had a word with his fabricators, um, they wanted to get the frames back to sort them out. And he said, well, that's not as simple as that because he's at the other end of the country. Um, so they're, they're like five hours away, basically, which is a bit of obviously a problem. So he was trying to obviously figure out a different way of dealing with it. He said about, he said he'd do whatever he needs to do to sort it out. He said about sending a technician down as well to sort it out. And he said, look, if you can't sort it out, then I've got someone that can. So I don't, it's not a case of that though. If I could sort them out, I would. Um, but it's, when then he said like, if you can deal with what you've got and do something with it, then maybe we can come to some kind of a deal on something else, which is fair enough, because I'll, I'll need a, another set of doors at some point anyway. But I had a look at it, um, so I'll show you. So I have adjusted this sash that way. So, I mean, it's close, but it, it won't hit now. And I'll show you on the upside. So this is the bracket. The stupid thing about it is there's pencil marks here where they um, they could have set it correctly and then they just ignored it. So I took out these ones that are slots, took out the center one, which is a hole, and I moved it that way. So what I said to him, I said, right, I could do that. Then I'd need to make this one into a slot because you can see where that hole's offset. And then I'd want another couple of screws to drill through that. So I was reluctant to basically get this redone because I've already fitted it. Basically, I've already used the expense, uh, really expensive expanding foam tape as well. So obviously that's going to be unusable. I've already drilled them in. So I've got all the fixings in. So I didn't really want to take it out. So I, I was willing to potentially work with this one. But I said, look, the amount of faffing about that I need to do, I need a bit of obviously recompense for that. So like give me like the sill noses or something, you know, or the flat bar that I'm looking to use. So that that's what I was looking to do with that one. Um, same with window two because it's already been fitted. But the, the only reason why I was doing that was if when I took the screws out, I was just seeing if it was double drilled next to each other. If it was already double drilled, then I wouldn't have done it basically because the material all of the other windows that are not fitted they've all been double drilled like next to each other and there's like less than a millimeter of aluminium in between them two holes so i said to him that on all of them i need new frames because i've got no confidence in like them the fixings holding for the lifetime of the frames essentially uh, that's what it comes down to um but i would have obviously potentially adjusted these uh, hinges on this one though when I checked it to see whether it had been double drilled I realized that one of the back screws uh, at the top it had already been stripped so it wasn't even holding the window in the first place it was only the other two screws that were holding it there um, but that that's 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 the trouble that you get with aluminium obviously you take the screws in and out in and out in and out and then it's just going to strip in it um, yeah, I done it with like a hand screwdriver, manual screwdriver, is that what it's called? <laughs> um, this is good, I'll show you this. Because I couldn't get to the back screws, because the seal was in the way and the, up top, I had to buy this little kit and look at these like tiny little screwdrivers. And then you've got the offset ones. So yeah, definitely handy. That was off Amazon. Right, so now I need to, um, Pull the glass out without smashing it. <laughs> take the sashes out, take the frame out, put the sashes back in the frame, and then wrap it up ready for them to collect tomorrow. So that, that I don't know whether I already said that. He, he ended up saying, right, we're just gonna come get them and then we're gonna redo whatever we need to do. Providing everything goes well and I can get these out, then I don't mind that as much because obviously if they're just gonna, they'll remake the right hand sash on that one 
and the same on that one as well but the frames are going to stay the same so the fixings that i've done on the side once i get these back they should be in the same place and hopefully they hold uh if they don't i might have to put some kind of like um i don't know chemical hardening resin what what's it called i don't know what it is um yeah so i'm kind of okay with that i'm it's not the end of the world and i'll just have to deal with the loss of the expanding foam tape uh i don't know whether i might buy some more i'm not sure i do even though it's a pain in the ass i do kind of like it especially on the doors it's awesome on the doors with the straps we'll see we'll see i'll see how far i get on the other stuff and whether i run out or not uh so yeah the other ones so it'll be one sash that needs to be remade on them two and then for the final one window six they're gonna have to do both yeah but i suppose we'll get there and then obviously it's coming up to spring so i'm gonna i'm gonna have to cover up all of these windows so i've got some netting i'm gonna have to make frames and like cover them up because otherwise birds are going to start nesting in here soon um and then I, obviously i need to crack out this <laughs> uh I think in the next few days, like I, I should be able to get that window in. I'll get that door in. I'll get them ones in, the frames at least. Um, and then I have to tap someone up to give me a hand with the glass. Um, yeah, I'd like to get these ones in as well. But they they did bring they brought the glass down on that, and then he wanted it out of the van. He said, "Can I leave this here?" And I said, "Yeah." So I might be able to use that if I pull that over here, I can stand them up on that outside and it'll make it a little bit easier for getting it in and out. Uh, right, so I've just got, I don't know, I've got about an hour and then, uh, then we need to go to the vets again. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna whack these out. Do you wanna watch? Right, need to whack the beads out first. Oh, the gasket's fell over. Oh, I didn't put the top one in. <laughs> so it's a little bit easier. So to get the frame fixings out, um, I'm going to use my drill driver then my impact driver and hopefully that will give me a chance. So I, I don't want to, obviously, whatever thread that it's made, I don't want to ruin that. Now that the weather's warmed up, it's pretty much expanded fully into there as well. <laughs> oh well.
that was relatively painless. It took a little bit. Obviously, I've got silicone around that. Um, but because it's like flexible, it just wanted to, you know, when it wants to break your wrist to begin with, but you just hold on to it. That's sorted. Right, so I just need to, I think I'm going to, these brackets I'll take off, but I'm going to number them and keep them safe so I can put them back in the same place. I'm leaving the windowsill on. I'll put the sashes back in. I'll put the beads back in and then I'll wrap it up. I've already wrapped these three up, just the corner bits and then the handles. So yeah, once that's done, they'll come and grab them tomorrow. So we've got to go to the vets now. Um, so yeah, he's kind of like, he's, he's in less pain now, but we're not sure whether the um, drugs have, he's, he had function in his legs before he could walk. He could go to the toilet, he could wee. Um, but he just didn't want to walk because he was in too much pain. So we carry him to the toilet and everything. Now, uh, he's not in so much pain. He doesn't whimper or anything. He just comes up to you crying, basically, because he wants you to fix him, but you can't. Um, so he's, he's stopped with the pain, but he's lost function in his back legs now. Um, so yeah, we don't know whether it's because of the drugs, because it's like a neurological kind of thing, or whether he's just like his spinal cord's been compressed too much. So he's gonna end up paralyzed kind of thing. Um, but we'll, we'll say hello before we go. This is where I sleep with him. Papa, Papa, Alpha. Hello, monkey. We've got to go to the vets. Huh? We go to the vets. Aww. We go to the vets. Come on in. So this obviously means that I might not be about at some point. But yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.